ABX works to tell us if we can tell the difference between two files. But sometimes we want to do a different kind of audio testing. Um, and the Lassonado software ABXer includes what he calls a shootouter function that lets us put multiple files into the comparator, tell, us, tell the comp program which one we prefer, and see if our preference is strong, if we like the same one every time, and if our preference matches what we thought it was going to, the one that we liked the best before we started. So um, I have four files here, and it's easy to get them into the program. I just drag and drop all four at the same time, put them on the first line, and the program expands the number of file slots to uh, support all four. I just pull down this little divider here, and there's all four of my files. Here we're listening to four mics uh, that I recorded all at the same time and level matched for a different uh, mic comparison. We have an 80KA6, a Rode NT1A, a Shep CMC64, and an Electro Voice RE15. Um, and uh, as usual, you can download these clips from the Homebrewed Music site. So let's use the shootouter. Well, let's go, how, go through how it works now. I mentioned in the ABXer that I would not use hold position very likely, but we'll try hold position, which, as we play through the file, plays without going back to the beginning as we switch from one uh, source to another. So let's start off with hold position and we'll set loop so it goes back to the beginning and we'll start the shootout. So what it does is shuffle those four files. We don't know now which one is which. And we can play them. <laughs> Using the hold position function, the file keeps playing without returning to a starting point. I'm not sure. That that matches my way of listening. So I'm going to turn off hold position so that it goes back to the beginning each time or it goes back to wherever I set this slider. For me, this slider sets the, the beginning of where all these uh, will play. And the usefulness of that is if there's a point where I think I can detect more of a difference, where I'm more certain about the difference, or a particular detail that I want to listen to, maybe a chord uh, harmony, or a loud or soft note, or low or high note, uh, setting this slider lets me uh, pick that note out, that moment out of the longer track and, and listen to it through each source. So let's do that. We'll turn off loop and we'll begin playing through. some differences. I mean, these are very different mics, so I'm glad I can hear a little difference between them. See, that one has a little tinkle to it. That one has the tinkle, too. Oh, I didn't hear the tinkle there, so does that mean the microphone added the tinkle, or this microphone failed to get it? I don't know, but I sure prefer it without the tinkle, so... So I think I'm going to say this one, uh, the third one in this current shuffle, is my favorite. And now that brings up next shootout. So now we press this button and it's going to shuffle them into shootout two. Play. Okay, so I'm saying that's my favorite. I don't know. I believe it's the same one that I chose as my favorite before. We'll do our next shootout. I think I like that one a bit. So next, uh, I'm going for this one this time. And we'll do one more. Let's move to a different location in the file. Next, shootout. Shuffle for shootout five. And I think I like that one the best. All right. So now we've done five. That's 
not enough to, to make a really meaningful decision among these four different choices, but let's see the results anyway just to see what they look like. It says we, ne we chose A, the first one in our original list, zero times. We chose C four times. That's very handy. We chose B once. So that tells us that we really kind of, there was something about A and D that we probably didn't like, and we seemed to like C the best, so that was, that was S. I don't even remember what these mics are, which one is which. If you want to know, though, you can contact me through the Homebrewed Music blog. Stop by at the, at the uh, Road vs. Uh, uh, ADK uh, topic and leave a comment there, and I can email you the identities of these files. You can also download these files in the new topic for the Lucento ABXer. Uh, there will be a link in the description of this video. And uh, as always... I hope you found this useful.